Hey, this video is for the Shark radio system install. I chose this system because uh, of the massive hide ability. I drilled a small hole in the back back here and sealed it with some uh, black gasket sealer. Um, I bought this for the Shark and you can see that old iPhone, GPS, and um, the new iPhone. Uh, this will also charge your phone. You don't really need it to download music through this way because the Bluetooth uh, connects really quick. Let's see if I can get this out. Uh, there's the system right there. It's 1400 watt. It has a USB uh, on this side that I've connected uh, to the front, uh, which comes all the way out to the front here to charge everything, GPS or, or whatever you want to charge, uh, iPad or anything like that. Um, I wired it into the electrical harness. Down here is uh, weatherproof splices, and then I black taped it. And the uh, radio harness didn't have an end cap, so I black taped that. Just I was going to cut it off, uh, but I felt the cap uh, would be beneficial maybe later. Maybe I don't want this system. Maybe I want to do something different. Um, the silver stuff is fire blocking uh, that I put in there to kind of keep the heat down around my radio and keep the dirt and dust out of there, especially. So um, I'll show the features of the radio system. Um, I'm going to show you where the speakers are at. They're hidden up underneath there. You can see uh, I've got a bolt and a bracket in there. Uh, speakers come with brackets. That's passenger side. Um, and here's um, the other side. A little piece of tape here I left. Um, I glued the wires to the back of the pipes uh, with gasket sealer. So it's hard to see where he ran the pipes. The other speaker is down here, hidden. I still can move the seat. Um, see where it mounts on that right there? That the screw right there. Right back there. So once you get it mounted, then you can bend the speaker up, bend the bracket a little bit. It's easy to do. So, same with this one. You can bend the bracket a little bit. To, mount, uh, to position the speaker so it's kind of aiming towards you. The speaker back here bounces off uh, and makes some real surround sound up in the cockpit area. It's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Um, this is the box it came with. It's a weatherproof stereo system, Shark 1400 watt. Uh, here's the specs that it comes with. I don't know if you can see that, but Get a good view of that, everything that it comes with. Awesome system. Uh, it came with um, a portable remote too, but um, I don't think I'll be using that much. I, I stuck it in the dash. It's in here. I keep it in there. Um, gosh, I don't even know where I put it. There it is. So maybe that's something that you want to use. It takes one of those um, garage door opener batteries or 2026. Um, this is really all you need and then you know the wire comes up from on the inside i think i'll probably put some black gasket sealer up in there to keep the wire from moving i velcroed it so i didn't want to you know fix anything because maybe i might not want this system a year from now maybe there'll be something better from shark or some other vendor right now the shark is killer um this right here's your power button but it selects from mp3 fm radio and then these will light, and then you have uh, your Bluetooth. And, and I'm using a phone to make this video, so I can't use a Bluetooth at, at this point, but I'll show you later on another thread or another a video clip. And so now it's going to try to connect Bluetooth, but I don't have a Bluetooth ready. So it's back to the radio. Um, if you press this button here and hold it, it will learn all the radio stations for you without having to set it up. And then these you can cycle back and forth to what radio station you want to listen to. Um, right now I'm inside my garage and, you know, the signal strength's not that good in here. So, but I'm still getting really good radio reception in here. Let me turn it up a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. Let's turn it up. Smoke rolling out the window.